everybody back with a new episode of Babylon 5. Last episode, Sheridan died. Um, I think he is going to be reborn. But what that's going to look like, I don't know. But he had to let go, but also hold on to something that is worth living for, which is Dylan. Um, she also was doing pretty badly. And thankfully, he left a message for her saying to, you know, jump if you gotta jump maybe you'll fly and uh, she's predetermined to you know pick up the pieces and keep going which is nice hopefully they can be reunited soon but Sharon met the first one ever uh, the, the the where where did he come from who could say uh, Rory I think his name is interesting guy <laughs> wild that that's where he was or i mean i'm not even sure where he was but that he had died or just hadn't realized he died or i don't know it was all very confusing um but we saw Grimaldi. he's alive but he's also trapped and being asked questions and i don't really know what's going on there either and jakar did not get to rescue him uh, because jakar himself got captured by the centauri He's now in jail there, but Endo and he are going to work together to try to take out um, the Emperor, which is nice. And hopefully when they do that also, they can, you know, get everyone, get all the Centauri off of Norm, uh, and this war can end. Um, we'll see, you know, we, we were explained, we got the explanation for Kosh still being like a part of Sheridan, like a piece of his soul is with him. How dissimilar is that to what the shadows are doing to Morden? I mean, that definitely seems more sinister. But the Vorlons and the and the shadows are not that different. Uh, and I don't want to say one's all good and one's all bad because I'm I'm worried about what the Vorlons are doing now. They they seem very disinterested and actually helping they didn't care so much it seems at least cost 2.0 did not care uh, about what has happened to sheridan and uh i uh, so in some ways i feel like we're on our own now or we need to be just because of what like lita said she felt from that kosh uh, that darkness so I don't know, but we're still we're still picking up the pieces of what happened in the finale, and I'm excited to see where we're going from here with this episode being called the Summoning. Who are we summoning? I mean, this could be anything. But I know whatever it's going to be, it's going to be such a surprise. It's just always throwing curveballs. And you just gotta keep up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very excited to get back into it, so let's do it. There may still be some first ones out there that we haven't found yet. Like I have all the information ones. at hand that I need to go out looking for them. I've been teaching myself the Oh, no. I figured, what the heck? Zindrabi, Hot Rasul, and Dolo Ishiden. Uh, not quite. It's very good. A bit of an accent. <laughs> but yes. Very good. Marcus, just a uh, That's really not necessary. Yeah, not at all. Love to. I'm sure. You must be terribly thirsty. You haven't had a drink in three days. Leave him alone. Here it is. All you have to do is ask for it. He is not your gesture. Politely, of course. And it's yours. Sector 87 by 20 by 42. At least a dozen ships have reported seeing something rather godlike in the area. And since neither you nor I were there, must be one of the first ones. You're having delusions of grandeur again. Well, if you're going to have delusions, may as well go for the really satisfying <laughs> ones. Should I take course? I've got the information Jakar wanted on the transport that found Garibaldi Spider. But if you'd rather send someone after Jakar... No, we can't afford to send any more people after him. 
He refuses to bow. He refuses to drink. Do you know that we assigned him one of our best pain technicians? Pain technicians. They used to be called torturers ever since they got organized. It's pain technicians. Towards the end, I decided, cut off his hands. Maybe that will get a reaction. He did it. Did you? No. If I don't get my screen, he'll have to be killed. You do understand, don't you? Oh, yes, Majesty, of course. So what? You have to tell Jakarta's dream? Remember what I said before about there must be another way? I was wrong. Yeah. Kill him. Hell yeah! There's, there's something going on. Something they haven't told us yet. Do we have any idea? No. Then frankly, I'm afraid to ask. Yeah, and they won't offer it up. I don't think that they care about what happens to us anymore, Dylan. I don't think they do I think the either. game just got bigger than that. If he launched a life pod, it could be him. The ship was destroyed right after they ejected his life pod. Doctor, there's a rise in blood pressure. All right, I'm coming in. What the fuck? Good going on this, Zachary. Right? It's about time we had a little luck around here. Thanks. Is it luck? Gosh, the real couch wasn't like this. You think in some level he cared about us? He did. Not me. But with you, it's as if I'm being used and then thrown away when I am not needed anymore. Damn it, I have earned some respect. And I have earned some answers. Respect. From whom? You. Oh! Oh, my thoughts of you. A little scream. Uh, Is that so much to ask for? If I beg for mercy, cry out. I would no longer be a non. And if you are dead, are you still a non then? No! You don't know what you're asking. You don't understand. Yes, I do! Yes, I do. Anyone special waiting for you back home? No. Not anymore. You? I want this thing to go right. What he's I talking about special. you. Oh. A romantic. I don't think I felt that way since the first time. That's what I'm talking about. You mean you don't? You haven't? Yes. I thought the first ones were rare. <laughs> well, I, I hope she appreciates it. So do I. It's. Come on! I'm picking something up. Fucking hell. Last time anybody saw you was over two weeks ago. I was just... Just what? <laughs> I don't know. Everything's a blur. The other League worlds are worried about your decision to attack Sahadoom. They believe that in doing so, you will only provoke a deadly response. The response is coming either way. Yep. The shuttles will strike again soon. Their fear is making them act against their own interests. But they must be free to speak their minds. We have nothing left worth fighting for. But you will be there. What a leader. My voice is as free as theirs. That's right. Hear my side as well. We received a message from one of our long-range probes. It picked up an unfamiliar ship moving on a hyperspace beacon that might be taking it toward Babylon 5. I wondered if you knew anything about this. No, I'm sorry. Well, if it's coming here, I suppose we'll find out soon enough. The Electro Whip is set to give an increasing level of pain each time it is used. At 40 strokes, it will kill even a non. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, Commander, we've got something coming through the jump gate. 
Signature and silhouette unknown. Could be the four ones. I hope not. How soon? Now. Coming in an approach. Open up a frequency. The Len and others conspiring with her are risking all of your lives by organizing an attack against the home world of the shadows. Well, I'll be damned. It has been a thousand years since the last Shadow War. Ships go there and never return. Lives are wasted. Sheridan died trying to attack Zahatom. Did he? No one who goes there comes back alive. Woo! You came with him? The ambassador is correct. I went to Zahadoom. There is a way out of this. A way to stop this insanity once and for all. What? Now, Galen's fleet is a start. Thank you. Ba now we have to build on it. <laughs> Together we will form the largest <laughs> fleet in history. Uh -oh. Not just for a battle. But to change the shape of the galaxy. Ah! Not just for ourselves, but for our children. We can end this. Not just for now. Not just for the next thousand years, but forever! Why I stand before you as proof that it can be done. We can fight and we can win, but only if we do it together. Can I count on you? Yes. I would never see you again. I'll never leave you today. Oh. I have the whole universe to between us. <laughs> it started. What? The Vorlons believe that strength comes through order and discipline. The Shadows believe in promoting evolution through conflict, starting wars. Those are diametrically opposite positions. Mm -hmm. Exactly. His name is Lorien. That's all you need to know for now. Yeah. Who decided that? He did. Well, isn't that convenient? Michael, what the hell is that? I told you I trust him. I know, I know. Secrets on top of secrets, right? Oh, no. It's different. This stuff. We came across a Vorlon fleet hiding in hyperspace. Not dozens, not hundreds. That's what that was? But thousands of ships. They destroyed an entire planet. Leader. There are over four million people on Arcata 7. You, you can't be serious. This latest incident, everything that's happened lately has convinced the Forelines that their only alternative is to destroy the Shadows and anyone touched by them. Like an infection, you have to cut it out. And any healthy tissue that's cut out along the way, well, that's okay, because it's all for a good cause. Unless you do stop them, it won't matter who wins and who loses. Because none of us. Not a single world in 70 light years in any direction. We'll live to see it. Borlands? Well, you can't ever just have all good things. And uh, at least we know now that the Borlands are just as much of a problem as the Shadows now. And we are caught in the middle. How are we supposed to take them both on? Maybe use them against each other? Make them take themselves out, both of them? One full fleet? That would be great. We didn't find any first ones, but at least we learned something. It's not great, but I was kind of suspecting that the Borlands are doing their own thing now. Look at how Kosh took one of treats Lita, jeez. I was proud of her for standing up for herself and, you know, trying to do what a lot of it asked of her, but we gotta get this Kosh 2.0 off of that long time because he's no good. But Sheridan is back. Um, once I saw the shape of the ship that they were on it was like a bird or whatever i was like oh it's gotta be sheridan because he's flying and i wasn't expecting Lorian to be with him but i'm glad that he's here and maybe can help i i really wasn't expecting that 
But Sheridan is back, gave a rousing speech, and convinced everyone to go ahead with the plan of attacking Zaha Doom. And uh, it sucks that they wouldn't listen to Dolan. They were accusing her of just, you know, doing this out of grief. But she knows what the shadows were inevitably going to do, which is, you know, come again. It wasn't, they weren't going to wait a thousand years, especially because we bombed them. They're going to be even you know, more mad. But at least now, go share them back and Dolan. He calling the shots together. Everyone is back on board. So that's exciting because we're going to need everyone, including some first ones. Uh, it might help that we have Lorian. But yeah, the, the, the impossible is become more impossible. But it's also like we're rising to that occasion. We're not just going to push the shadows back. We're going to end it all. For once and for good, the Rollins and the Shadows, which I'm here for. It's tall order, but I love the the will and the, the want. Um, your money is also back. I don't feel 100% good about it just because what happened? Why did they just you know send him out in this little pod and then self destruct and is he the same? Is he connected to the shadows in some way? Is he going to be inadvertently working for them? Like some of their, is he, is it like a Morden thing? Is it like a, what Kosh has got going on with Sheridan? I, I don't know, but I don't 100% trust him right now, even though he does feel like himself for the most part, but he was certainly upset to see Lori in there. And uh, I'm going to be very much paying attention to his actions and how he, his demeanor is going forward. Because it just, it wasn't for nothing that they had him all that time. So we'll see. Um, I really like that Ivanova and Marcus had some time together out on their little mission. They did not find any of the first ones, but they must have... I guess they saw the fleet of the war lines and they were just like, we gotta go back. And also, you know, with Sheridan being there, um, it's got the timing all around for that. But Mark is just full on, it was like admitting to his feelings. Ivana hasn't quite caught on to the fact that she is the one. Hopefully she does, and hopefully she may feel the same eventually, maybe, just because Marcus is such a guy. Like, they would be cute together. And he obviously adores her. We'll see how that goes, but he's never been with anyone before, so this is a big deal for him. So I I hope something good happens there. Then the other thing with Londo and Jakar is just heartbreaking. For Kakashia is the worst and is just a sadist and evil and wants to inflict pain. And Jakar held on literally to the last whip and finally let out a scream. I hope he doesn't feel defeated or like he has done something shameful. Um, what are you, how is, how, he was the one more and he would have died. I'm glad, I'm glad he did it, even though I know he's going to feel some type of way about it. I wish Londo could have done something for him, but all he could do was go to him and say scream. But we need to start talking plans. We need to kill him now. I mean, is he going to stop here now that he got his scream? Can he go find something else to do? This is awful. I hate it. I mean, Jakar is so strong. He held on for so long and he didn't want to at all. I hate that. That was just horrible to watch. I was here, like, uh, that was, that was the worst. Um, but I like that we got to see Zach a little bit more here, him going out and looking for Garibaldi and found him. 
very easily. We just saw Lita. Really glad we got to see stuff with her. Although everything that we see about this new cause is very concerning. And now we kind of know that the boys just don't give a shit. But I, I, at least, you know, at least we know now. At least we know what we're up against as, as insurmountable as it seems. Um, they're going to give it their all. And everyone's on board now. So we got to take it from here and see what happens. But there's, there's, uh, there's several things to be concerned about. And even though it does feel great to have Sheridan back and he and Dylan reunited was so great. There's just, there's just so much happening. And, uh, one, one thing that you thought you had to worry about has now turned into two things and hopefully just going above them to the first ones who are older than their whole conflict can be the deciding factor, I guess, but also like the spirit of this resistance is really nice to see and bear witness to. So I'm still hoping for a good outcome here, but it's, it's, the odds aren't fantastic. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I mean, everyone's back now. We're, we're a group again. Even though I don't know, I don't know about Garibaldi and uh, fucking morons. But what are you gonna do? So we'll see. But yeah, this is really good. I'm so excited that Sheridan's back. Garibaldi is back, and uh, we're we're going forward with this plan to go after the Doom and whatever we got to do to deal with the morons. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.